in western New York celebrating outdoors does not seem to be an option, Maria, unless they're going to be <laughs> celebrating outside while they're skiing or snowshoeing. Ooh, yeah. Or snowmobiling. Or snowmobiling. Yes. Can do that too. All fun sports. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's time, right? Yes, it is. We need it. We need some white. Yeah. This is we have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> this is going to be blinding white coming our way. I have both maps to show you with the lake effect and without. So you can see if you're not in one of the bands, what it's going to look like around here. But we do. We need a little bit of white to get us in the spirit. Tomorrow, not white, but certainly wet. We are in for a soaking rain. 48, and you know what? I, I think I'm, I'm off on that temperature because I think it's going to be even warmer, especially during the early portion of the day. 46 right now in Buffalo. We made it up to what? 48 degrees for today. 36 in Olean, 40 currently in Java uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, about 53 and then watch this cooler air. I think it's a little <laughs> quickly comes tumbling in by about five o'clock 33. I think it's a little soon on that, but you get the idea that cold air is going to quickly move in, which is one of my concerns. Just keep this in mind when it does make its way in. Everything's going to be wet and we could see things really cross over rather quickly into icing. So I know the roads are going to be. I know they're well. This has been well advertised. Uh, they're going to be salting the roads, but a lot of that could kind of wash off too with some of the rain. So take it slow tomorrow. Nothing to report right now. Overall view. There it is. You could see it winding up on the back side of the system. It's going to be twisting back some really cold air. That's what's going to bring us the synoptic snow. I know you've heard me say this a hundred times, but that's snow associated with the system itself. And then when we pull down even colder air on Friday, that's when we're going to wind up the lake effect snow. So eight o'clock tomorrow night. Here it comes. Front starts crossing over. We're going to get into the rain showers ahead. We'll see an uptick in the rain, especially right before that front crosses over. And then we get into the synoptic snow. I'm going to pause it roughly about five o'clock on Friday because a couple of things I want to show you, which I think is really interesting. A couple of changes in this. When we get into that synoptic snow, we'll pick up a couple of inches and then uh, Christmas morning you're going to wake up and go, wow, this is no big deal and it won't be. There's going to be a lull in the action. We'll have some snow showers, no great shakes, but as we get into the afternoon and we pull down that much colder snow, that's when we're going to set up the lake bands. And as we get into the latter portion of the afternoon, watch this guy. Now I'm also going to put the winds on here. See these winds? They're going to move well up to the north. They're going to push that band into Buffalo Metro. It's going to stay there all the way through Friday night into almost Saturday morning, and then it will retreat back down to the south. That's the one we have to watch. That's the one that's going to give us 8 to 17 inches of snow. And then once it moves back down to the south, it'll be in a weakened state and it will remain there until Saturday afternoon. Actually, now that warning is going all the way until Saturday evening, but it'll be in a weakened state. So here are the or this is, I should say, the snow map with the lake effect on it. 12 to 22 for Chautauqua Ridge, 12 to 22 for the South Towns, 8 to 17 for us, 6 to 8, and that may be a little bit high, but that's for the North Towns. This is the map without the lake effect, 10 to 12 for Chautauqua Ridge, 8 to 10 for the South Towns, 4 to 6 for us. I can nearly guarantee you we are going to get into the lake effect. So here are the changes and the things that are not changing with the storm timing. This is remaining the same. This is remaining the same. We are going to transfer over. This has changed. There is going to be a lull in the action. So we'll get into the general snow behind the front uh, come Friday morning. Yeah, everything's going to simmer down for a while. It won't be until later on in the afternoon that we're going to look for that lake band to set up and then it will be aimed for Buffalo. Christmas night is when we are going to get into the heaviest lake snow. Could see up to two inches per hour, maybe even a little bit of thunder snow. And then Saturday that band will lighten and then shift back down to the south. Here we go. Last one before I leave you for the evening. Well, at least for 10 minutes. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, tomorrow morning, a little bit of rain. Oh, come on, Mark. A little bit of rain and then an uptick in activity. We could get a little bit of sleeting down in the southern tier. Here comes that wet, heavy snow that we were talking about. That's that synoptic snow. Yep, that we start to transfer over. Keep in mind, this is one model. They're all different, but they're kind of all agreeing upon the same thing. There's that line and now it's going to start to make its way up into Buffalo. 48 will be the high for tomorrow. Winds will be gusting up to about 30 miles an hour. Thursday, 
Lake snow, cold, lighter snow blowing around. Be careful driving 35 mile an hour wind gusts. Here's a peek at the seven ahead. Sunday is going to look nice, partly sunny skies and a little time to shovel on out.